what my feet look like current day. This is 10 and a half months post-op. So, you know, this one I don't think looks terrible, to be honest. I have just a small bump still and a little bit of, it's not aligned, I guess. And then right here are my incisions. And that is what's giving me a lot of pain is not the incision itself, but the hardware that is right around my incisions that he put in there. And then I'm still having bunion pain. So then if you look at the other one, I'll try to do a side by side next. This one, in my opinion, is significantly worse. And I can also upload my, not upload, but just insert my x-rays. And it will show you how this one, my right foot, is worse than my left foot, unfortunately, because... I don't know, my doctor sucked, I guess. But, um, yeah, so this one is more deformed. And clearly, I still have a bunion. I mean, it's clear as day. See, it's even red still. And that is a telltale sign that you have a bunion. And then here are my incisions for this foot. These are also not the same as the other foot. And then I'm also having pain on this foot as well from the hardware that he put in. And it's still in there. And it really shouldn't be. So now I'll try to give you a side by side. I don't know if you can really tell a difference, honestly, but I can. I hope that this video can honestly be helpful for someone else because now I have to go through the whole process again and it's really daunting and it's coming up in less than a month. But thankfully the doctor I'm going to have my surgery with, my sister had him and I feel confident in his abilities. Hey everybody, so Today is Thursday, March 31st. I am three weeks post-op yesterday and I'm feeling really good. So right after the surgery, I was able to walk with these, which was amazing. And on Tuesday to get the stitches removed and I almost passed out during that, I won't lie. It was really, really, really painful. And it was funny too, because my doctor, he was... He kept saying how amazed he was that I wasn't even flinching and then I think he was kind of surprised because once he finished I said yeah I actually need to lay down because I think I'm gonna pass out. It was extremely painful. You get queasy really easily like with blood or incisions and whatnot. I urge you to skip this so go ahead and skip it if that's what you need to do because my feet are pretty gnarly. So I guess I'll just show you what they look like. Yeah, so it looks a lot worse than it actually feels. I didn't even take any ibuprofen today because I felt, I felt fine. But yeah, no more bunion. It's pretty amazing. I'll show you the other one too. <clears throat> so now I'm able to also get them wet, which is amazing. So I can just kind of shower a little bit easier. I still sit down on my chair just because... I have to walk in these, I have to wear these to walk and stand and whatnot for three more weeks. Looks like something from a horror movie, but it doesn't even hurt, it's really bizarre. Such a dramatic change, I don't have bunion pain anymore already, like it's just, it's insane. Okay, so, I am just trying to finish out this video. It's been four months since my surgery, I'm really happy with the results. Um, last year when I got the surgery, the minimally invasive surgery, which personally, I would not recommend getting that. That did not do me any good. I was still having bunion pain. The only difference was like he shaved them down and they weren't even shaved down evenly. So honestly, I would not suggest that. I had a bunion surgery this time called a boat procedure. It's a modification of a scarf and chevron to, cr to create a simple, powerful, and versatile bunion repair. So yeah, I've had really good results so far. I am doing physical therapy a little bit. Um, not as much as I should be consistent with it. Like, I'm not doing it necessarily every day, maybe every other day. I'm just kind of lazy with it, unfortunately, which is not going to help me at all. I'm back to lifting normally like I did before, um, like lifting at the gym. I can walk just fine. I haven't tried running yet, to be honest. I mean, I haven't really been into running for a while. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'd love to do some, like, sprints or something. But, I don't know, I guess I'm just a little, a little nervous to do that because it's, kind of like I have new feet now and I'm walking a different way. The scars are pretty noticeable, but they are still fading, which I don't even care about the scars. I never I never care about the scars to begin with. Like it's your feet. You know, I don't I don't care about a scar on my foot. Um but if you are worried about that, then I guess minimally invasive would be what you want to do. And if you're not having any pain with your bunions, maybe that would be 
you know, an option, but honestly, I'm so much happier with this surgery and the minimally invasive surgery that I did last year I had to do one at a time. So I did one and then a month later I had to do the other and I couldn't be weight bearing. It was just really miserable and this time around, he literally did both of them at the same time. I was able to weight bear them, weight bear on them immediately. I had to wear the post-op shoe for I think it was six weeks, um, but I didn't even, I wasn't even bothered by it. It's so much better to be able to be independent on your own rather than depend on someone to like, oh, can you help me up? Oh, can you give me something to eat from upstairs, you know? So I'm so much happier with the result and I think that I will show you guys my feet here in a second. Um, of course, I wanna show before and after, after the minimally invasive surgery, so before I had the surgery, and then my feet now. Um, like I said, I don't have any bunion pain anymore, which is crazy because I used to have to wear like spacers at the end of the day, put them in between my, my big toe and my second toe just because I would just have this really bad bunion pain, which is kind of bizarre because I didn't have the biggest bunions. My sister had really bad bunions and she didn't really even have bunion pain, so everybody's different. But yeah, I don't have bunion pain anymore, which is just a miracle on its own and my feet look normal and they're straight and I'm very happy with them. And if I could go back, I would say don't do minimally invasive. I would not recommend that. That's just my opinion, of course. I'm not a doctor. I'm really happy with the result. Honestly, really researched because I thought I researched the guy before and it was like, oh, five stars, da da da, on Google and whatnot and his website. But I mean, I don't know. You can't always trust your views. Let me try to talk to other people that have had that surgeon if possible and just, yeah, do your best research that you can to make sure that you're going to a good doctor because. You know, after the first surgery, I owed 12, okay, oh my gosh, I owed $1,200 in medical bills. And I mean, even after insurance, it's not super cheap. You know, I mean, it's not terrible. It could be a lot worse, you know, if I didn't have insurance or whatever. But I definitely recommend that you know who you're going to and that you have confidence in your doctor. All right, let me show you my feet. This is my left foot. See how straight they are? That's a little bit of the scar there. It's a little bit longer on the left foot than it is on the right foot. It is sensitive. No one really told me about that. There is, um, I believe that's what what is called scar tissue. That's why it's so sensitive. And then this is my right foot. I do feel like this incision on this foot is not as long, but I don't really care. Um, here's this foot. This foot is like, or this toe is like pin straight, so that's kind of funny. And I guess here's them side by side. I'm sorry, the lighting's not the best. And now I can actually do this. I could never do that with my bunions because, of course, they would clash and my feet would be like this. But now they really touch, which is really cool. I'll say, you know, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like, um, leave a comment, subscribe. I hope that I provided you with um, some good advice and maybe something that you didn't know before watching this video. So thanks so much again, and I'll talk to you guys next time.